Hi guys. So nice to see everyone. <clears throat> and everybody already chit chatting. <clears throat> and uh, so, so today, oh my God, so many questions as usual. I felt like today I was like, I was going to add this extra day because there were so many questions. And then there's even more questions. It's like a bottomless pit of questions in a good way, I think, because I feel like it's a little bit like a puzzle. And I feel like the more we dig, the more uh, <clears throat> we understand. Oh my God, Donna is saying, I'm in Iowa surrounded by brain dead followers. It's crazy. Oh my God, Donna. It's crazy. How can, what, one thing that amazes me is, can't they see that like dishonesty is written on his face? That's what I find strange, <clears throat> okay? So I, I don't quite understand how, how they can't see through the whole fakeness, okay? But anyway, so getting started. Now, someone asked this question and I thought it was, I feel like a few weeks before or even a month before, it would have been scary. It's the question about democracy, okay? So because yesterday and recently we've, we've been seeing that a lot of people are uh, like there's a lot of people involved in this and it looks like it's been it, this was a very long-term plan that was just being it's just executed it's being executed when it's being but it, it was executed but it was planned for a long time and it took them a long time to convert everybody okay talking like mostly the russian influence and all that the connection like the perfect storm okay so the question was, and I, let me even go to the tab, uh, about whether they've succeeded. So this is clearly an attempt to overthrow our democratic government. Will it succeed? It's a pretty basic question, but I think it's a very important question because that's really the core of it, okay? I think they were pushing it. They are pushing it every day, okay? And if you read the book, that book, I haven't finished it, but at some point, Bannon talks about it, like they, they, they went full force at the beginning because that's their goal. Like they want to destabilize everything, okay? All right, so, well, okay, the whole thing, guys, okay, I just wanna talk about this, this conversation of the Civil War. This is like, they want to create an atmosphere of fear. That's important to them. So they create the fear before, even the whole thing with North Korea, which I believe it's a very, it's a theatrical exercise. Okay, so the same thing with, it's like a threat. They're saying like, don't mess with us or we're gonna start a war or whatever. So we just have to like reimagine that it's not, this is what they want us to think, that it's the vision is this, is everything. Okay, so anyway, so let's see. I just, I'm just gonna ask this very simple question. Um, this was clear, clearly an attempt to overthrow the government. Will they succeed? Will they succeed in overthrowing the d democracy in a dem democratic government? Will Trump and company, meaning the corrupt Republicans and all of those people involved in this massive scheme, succeed in overthrowing democracy? Because Trump is constantly threatening the First Amendment. He threatens the press and all kinds of things. So that's the question. So will they succeed in overthrowing democracy? That's their goal, it looks like. Will they succeed? Okay, will this government succeed in overthrowing democracy in this country? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because um, I don't know. It's fascinating, guys. Like how this whole thing, you know. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, but one thing, I haven't talked about this very much, I don't think, but in late 2016, there was some, I don't want to get into a lot of details, but there, for some like reasons that are beyond the scope of this um, broadcast, I realized that Trump is very good at storytelling in the sort of like Nazi style of storytelling and in connecting magical thinking to how he created the memes and so forth. I think, I believe it's very coordinated. So people become very seduced 
by this uh, the the world that he creates, right? It's it's sort of like cartoons, like He Man. Like there's the the good people and the bad people, and he positions himself as this person who who is he's a He Man. He has a the big sword, okay? So he can cure all the evils, and he's always pointing at the like, look, this is the evil. This is Skeletor over here, over there, whatever. So it's like. So this is why I think he succeeds with people who are, who like this, like the the magic, the world of magical thinking, you know, where, where it's, everything's black and white and there's the bad and there's the good. So it's a very um, clever, very, in a way, I think he, I feel like there's two things he is talented at that, but I think the bots and everything they understand this very well, the need to have emotional language and even the hate speech is structured around that to appear emotional when it's not, it's very structured. So anyway, so let me go back here to the question. Will the Trump government succeed in overthrowing democracy? It's basically him against we the people. So will he succeed? Will Trump government, oh my God. Somebody is screaming at some. Okay. okay. So will this succeed in over time? Wow. So Jan is you're saying she's saying here. They said he practiced his hand gestures for his real estate so they don't have to pay attention to what he's saying. That is so stupid. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Let's cut this here. Okay, so center. Okay. Okay, so here, and I don't know, honestly, I don't know if the, the reading is super conclusive. So this is a, the center. So this is a group of people working together well. Okay. And this is a group of people in disharmony, not able to get it together, but also the wrong works at the same time. Okay. And so this is key. So it's, I believe that this is the key chain, this, the solution or, or important part of the reading are these, these people, these great people with the wrong focus. And then on top, this is a card of burden. Okay, so that means they wanted to, this is unburdened. So this is election. So they want it. It's interesting because I feel like they thought in a way I, I interpret this as meaning they thought the election or winning this election or putting Trump in the government was the was a way to get rid of their problems. I feel like this relates to money and communication travels to somewhere money was going to be the key to this okay to the election stuff this is energy okay and a gift so
And this is basically the past or the context. So I feel like here it's saying that these cards election would would create a, uh, an opportunity to go to the next level through a, basically the election would be the gift that would allow them to go to the next level. Okay. And on top here, the, it needs a lot of disagreements and long-term problems on top of them. Okay. And this is a card of justice upright. Justice has an opportunity, okay? So this is, I'll, I'll we'll see how it, everything works together here. We'll discuss. So this is either something that was planned for a long time or long-term problem was key to the opportunity. So it could, it could also mean that if they have been planning this for a long time and this was an opportunity, okay? And this is something, this is theft, something stolen, and a child. And this is a letter, okay? A letter coming as an offer, maybe. Could be, we'll see if it's an indictment or something like that, okay? This is someone not able to sleep at night because of the Russia problem. I just feel like from, this, from the look of things here, it's. I feel like it's just saying that This was planned for a long time, but there's so much infighting and incompetence that I don't think they succeed just because, okay, so here we have, like, this is a card of theft, okay, so the child has something to do with theft and an op like a letter comes, okay, some sort of communication from Russia, okay? So I believe that this letter is something related to the investigation because here we have, just because we have justice upright is an, and an opportunity, okay? So putting everything together, this is a little bit, okay, let me just see here. Okay, so so we have the election on top, the set, top center, we have the mountain and the, the child. So a lot, I feel like this both, this has two things that kind of go well together. Basically an election was planned for a long time or the like endless problems that come out of the result of the election, okay? The fact that the election was stolen and this the group of people here wanted to move on to the next level, but there was a letter. And I feel like this could, could possibly allude to the investigation and the opportunity here through a gift and 
the external power. Now, I don't think this tells me much, okay? I think this tells me what they were doing, what they were planning, but I feel like it's pointing to consequences. Of, they will not be able to escape the consequences of the stolen election, okay? That's what it's saying. It's not telling me exactly that they were able to, like, I don't see there's, for example, the ca cards that I, that would concern me here more, like the emperor upside down, cards related to power, like magician or hierophant. Like, I don't see them. I see them. There's cards that relate to being weak and, and discord. And I feel like the thing, their, their plan doesn't work quite as well. Okay. Now. I'm going to do this thing, an experimental thing right now, since we're, because I feel like we don't, I don't necessarily have a specific answer, but okay, this is uh, going to be, let's see here. The first thing is going to be their side. Okay. The side of Trump. Side of Mueller, democracy. Let's see here. I just pulled out cards for two sides. Yeah, I don't think so. This is negative judgment, negative judgment, and position in the world recognition okay so the recognition of trump is that the judgment is against him okay meetings about money money gone wrong meaning something related to money hard time collecting money and corruption Fighting and pain leads to a person leaving. Okay, so it's possible. I mean, this could be, a, you know, resignation possible. Okay. world against him more than ever now even republicans finally start stepping back yeah i think what happens is that probably you know the feeling i get also about the republicans that are, republicans that are compromised now they're being like they're being pushed to the limit because i feel like right now they're sensing they didn't quite under like i feel like they they signed up but didn't quite get what it meant like i am not i'm not defending them at all but i'm just saying like now the Russians who probably are related to the mob, Russian mob, are like, dude, pay up. You know, they're being treated like they owe them stuff. It's not the same because they must have been so nice at like, they must have been so nice to them, trying to woo them and trying to say we have so much in common. But, you know, that's they do that stuff well. But now they're like, look, we got to do what we say. Or we're going to we're going to expose you or whatever. You know, so I feel like they're paying the price now. OK. So, okay, so here, reputation as of corruption, okay, the mice and the moon, their reputation is, is of corruption of corrupt, and conversations and meetings that are painful, and painful in general, okay, so painful corruption, and conversations that affect their reputation related to this painful corruption, okay. And then I thought Mueller's side. I feel like they're trying to avert death, which is kind of almost sad, but I feel like this is cloud, okay? So the, I feel like this could be the one thing saying, trying to, the, the death of what? The death of democracy, I feel like, okay? And this is that 
and the fox. So I feel like we had the cloud just now, and that means they were uncovering that stuff. Like that's stuff related to that's. That's why you have the clouds here, the clouds and the fox. They are uncovering. Uncovering these deaths that are shady is how they save democracy, okay? I think. And then here you have suddenly life, okay? But then you have the coffin right below. It ends with a coffin. And then aggressive, uh, basically aggressive conversation, aggressive attitude, death. So death to their tree. It's funny because this card tree has been popping up so much related to them. And I feel like it's their network, it's their life, okay? So it's the whole group. So you have here the clouds. And the fox. So the clouds, they, 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 yeah, they, the clouds, they kind of like for a while they cover up the fox. They cover up the shady stuff, but the fox dies ultimately here, okay? And the, the cloud covers their group, the, the tree or the life. And then it comes to an end. I don't think this has to do with democracy coming to an end. I think it has to do, has to do with the corrupt people coming to an end because that's who. Who, who was shown, okay? And uh, I feel like this this is also interesting. I, I don't see, I feel like, yeah, I feel like ultimately their corruption and Mueller's understanding that the uncovering of the shadiness is what undoes them in the end, is what will undo them, okay? So I feel like he knows that that's the way to save democracy, okay? Because they're do they like they didn't really do this in a legal way. It's not like you said, okay, let's that let's vote for. I mean, obviously they want to vote for this. So, so um, so basically, like they like I think I I say since Mueller pushing against time to get proof of those shady deals, okay, those shady money deals that will prove the illegitimacy of his presidency, okay? Because I feel like that's what I sense from the overall plan here, okay? Um, that's it. I don't think he will succeed in overthrowing the government just because there's too much corruption. And the other thing that I see here, too, is that there's a lot of in, infighting with them. Okay, so if it was, let's say that, for example, for example, if we had a somebody like, I'm going to thank God, not like Stalin or someone who, who was actually, like, if Trump were competent and charismatic, it would be really dangerous. Okay, there's, I feel like the blessing, in a way, is that he's too old. Okay, and he's incompetent because if you look at Hitler and Goebbels, they were fairly young when they got to the government and they were healthy. So if you got, you know, Trump is like, he's, I mean, he's very old. Like, I'm not saying that for a president, he's apparently the oldest person, but it's not that he's old, that he's, he's just very, he's senile, I think, at this point, right? He's just, a, not only senile, but he's just a very unlikable person, right? I mean, I think. Some people who feel who are very weak like him, but I think exactly, but I think even those Republicans who are transactional, okay, even them are like, I don't like this guy. I just don't like the whole, you know, there's no real, like, he's just, he's, he comes across as an entirely unlikable person on every sense. I find it hard to believe that people actually like him, right? Do you, I mean, like him. So. So yeah, so I just it's just um I find it hard. That's the problem, okay? That Trump is a divisive person, even among those like, you know what I mean? I, I think that there comes to a point where people just don't like him at all. Like even Paul Ryan today was like, yeah, my family is Irish, and I remember 
you know, not I remember is that they back in the day Irish people were discriminated against. So I know what it, it's like. It feels even Paul Ryan. Like I'm not saying that Paul Ryan is is always. Um, I don't think he's honest. Okay, or or he means something, but I feel like even he went out and said something. Okay, he's just like. But I feel like you know the interesting thing. Yeah, of course. But I feel like what I find interesting is like Trump has been extremely racist from the very beginning. And suddenly people like the media or something, they're shocked. <gasps> oh my God, Trump said this. It's like he said like Mexicans are rapists and all those horrible things. And the whole things about uh, Charlottesville. It's like, I feel like uh, w what is next? Like what is next? Okay. What were they thinking? So I feel like in a way this, this tells us how, how complicit the media was with him okay when he was running and why they were completely unwilling to to push him harder okay and another interesting thing is that it exposes the whole lie of you know people like oh it's the first amendment you can say whatever you want or whatever like and i feel like it exposes how bad like how limited that is okay yeah i didn't think he was he would win it either i wasn't the, like i wasn't you know so i feel like did we what Fox say that? I don't know if that's Fox. Okay, so so that was that. Okay, guys. So there's more here. Let me go back because there are some complicated questions. So I added this at towards the end of the day, like not that long ago. But there's two, I think, important questions to ask. Oh, okay. Let me tell you the questions, and you tell me what you think, or if you have other op options as well. But there's three questions that I think are interesting. Um, is A, will this government succeed in killing affirmative action in civil rights era progress, which I believe is their true goal? That's first question. Second question, well, will Russia continue to meddle in the USA elections come 2018 and 2020 via hacking, fake news, troll farms, and paying candidates, or will we be able to stop it somehow? And then another question about Trump. And this is this, I feel like it's a question that I don't think we necessarily got the answer, but we could look into it. Just 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 look into it. Okay. So the question is, how will Trump go down? And there are five options. One, resign, two, remove removed by Mueller somehow, three, impeached, four, death, and five until end of term. So so um anyway, so if you guys have a preference about which question. And I feel like I could just straight ask, how will Trump go down if you're interested? Okay, it's a fairly complicated, but I feel like uh, you know, some people, because somebody asked, asked me today, sent me an email, it's like, so will he be assassinated by the Russian mob? I'm like, hmm, I mean, I, 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 and I said, look, I don't like these controversial, like, is he gonna be assassinated? I don't know those questions, but I think what I can do is look at it analytically, okay? So there's going to be one one kind of set of cards that just t talks about the situation, and what I'm going to do is yes, Trump's future, right? Yeah, that's right. The situation, okay, how it's going to develop, and then I'm going to pull out one set of cards per section, okay? So meaning, for example, so there's going to be the resign. There's the five parts, so five little sections, and so I see what they say, okay? Well treason well i feel like denise asked treason impeached obstruction um well i feel like treason impeached and obstruction could be the same i feel like it, the important thing is how because this, those are more legal legal questions but i think it's more important to ask a if he's going to resign like how is he going to leave we want him out so resign Mueller is going to remove him through some sort of special act which i think is it's ultimately what's going to happen okay in some way and then three, impeachment in the traditional way, like through the House, Senate, or whatever. And then four, he dies in, while he's a, his president. And five, um, he just he because he's president until the end, and then there's like a normal election. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, some pe people are saying that like that he's going to resign. That's how. That's the most likely. I feel like you know what I believe is going to happen before we do the cards, and I think is that. He's going to get very, like, when Mueller gets very close to him, he leaves. When he knows, really, he's super cornered, everybody left, that's when I think he's going to leave, okay? And he's going to resign. 
I don't think, and that's it. I know there's like different, um, it's okay, let's see. How, how will Trump go down? Dear cards, we're very interested in finding out how will Trump go down, okay? Yeah. How will Trump go down? Because the thing is, there's this elections in 2018. That's another, we'll have to see. So how will Trump go down? Will Is this going to be, will he resign? Will be will he be removed by Mueller? Will it be impeachment? Will it be um, death? Or will he just go all the way until the end? Okay, try to out, tell us as much as you possibly can. Okay, in the sequence of events. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so oh my god, that's right. Michelle said no because they always have excuses. So Michelle saying no, Obama bugged Trump Towers. Like, yeah, they always have this like fake blaming somebody else. Okay, so how will Trump go down cards? How will how will they go down? Okay, how will it go down? Please tell us the full story if you can. So it's going to be, let me see here. Okay. Okay, so card of balance, interesting card to show up in the middle, a snake. We were to say balance snake, but so let's see what it, how it connects to other things. I'm going to, yeah, I'll do like 10, so 10 positions. So this is a card of, it can be a, a misguided, extreme, like a, extreme aggression. I think I've seen this this card as the sullen teenager, kind of like, ah, whatever, like I don't, whatever. So guilt. So the sullen te teenager is guilty. Aggressive teenager, okay. And here basically is saying, the snake is guilt, okay? Almost like peace is restored because temperance is peace of mind, right? Peace, is my, peace of mind is restored once the snake is found guilty, okay? Now, I'm, I'm gonna show you the cards here. This is, so there's gonna be 10 positions. And so I'm, I do this, this is the center, I'm doing the left and then I'll do the right, I'll show everything. But I feel like right away, this is a card defeat, defeat and, and reputation. I feel like he's okay. It's I feel like what this is already setting up to show is that he's defeated in the public eye and he's probably going to leave. Okay, so all right, so this is a card of a mental like reason and, and logic and the public society. Okay, saying the society is logic. And he has a reputation of being defeated in the public eye, basically, okay? This is just setting up the context like this. Okay, reputation in, the, in society, society reputation. He is defeated and underneath society's logic. And, and they're kind of like, this is like, wah, 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 because the, the sword is upside down and the lilies. 
So this is a man who needs Viagra, basically, older man, because a sword is upside down kind of thing, okay? And then this is a wrong works, lack of focus in the White House. So putting these together here, this side. Okay. I think this is pretty clear that this is the reputation of the older man is that of a snake. Society sees White House as guilty. Okay, so basically... I feel like it comes to be known that he's a traitor because I feel like if we look at the, if a president is a snake in the context of everything we know, it just means that he's a traitor, right? I mean, we know that he's a snakey person and that in many ways, a snake, many politicians are snakes, but I think in the context of what we know here, okay, it, he's going, somehow his guilt is going to become public. Okay, oops. All right, I'm going to pull out the next cards, okay? Because that's going to tell us what actually, this is with just the context and the center. Now, what actually happens? Okay, there's Muller. Hello, hello, Muller. Hmm. How does it tell me? The, give me the image of him leaving. Just the, oh, just the image of him leaving. Ah, oh, oh, very good, very good, very good. Okay, so all right. So this is then after that comes the Ace of Pentacles. So money corruption related to money continues to continues to to show up okay now this is a card that i've said before this is muller hi muller okay so there there he is and there's a cloud okay so he uncle i feel like the cloud means uh, in this context i think it means he he the cup the corruption was hidden but he's he's on you know he's on un, uncovering the the corruption okay because if we think about it, when the clouds are removed, Mueller is saying, I've seen the financial corruption, okay? And everybody knows, even he, he said, like, they say that if you get to his money, it's over. Like, that's where you find out, like, the, what's up with him, okay? And then after this, it means incompetence, incompetence in the tree. And the tree, like I've seen before, I've seen here, is the group of people that are his network, I think, basically, okay? This is uh, kind of like a bad messenger. It could be, I'm not sure bad messages, but somebody who's kind of like a Casanova, kind of like untrustworthy in the, in the, in the law. Okay, so it could also be bad news for him. So bad news. All right, so here, I'll, show, I'll just put it together for you guys. I think what this means is that Mueller uncovers the corruption in the government related to him, okay? Because we have before, we have these two, so it ends here, okay? So the mice and the, is under the cloud. So there's the, the, he lifts the cloud and shows the corruption, the corruption in the tree. So basically the tree is like all the branches of people related to him. So the corrupt people, the corrupt trees, in the government so okay so that's uncovered okay somehow that becomes public that's what i believe it's saying here okay now i asked when i saw this i was like okay this doesn't show me let me let me try to 
anyway, I'm, I'm going to talk to you guys and, 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 unplug, and, and undo these things. So I was like, please show me. I feel like the, all these cards together didn't necessarily give me the, it tells me what's going to happen, but didn't, these didn't give me necessarily the super clear picture that I wanted. Okay. So, um, so I, I asked, I asked for the cards. I said, look, please give me the clear image of him leaving. Give me an image of him leaving, okay? So, so I got, I'm just putting these together, guys, because I'm not sure. I basically got the justice upside down and the sides together, okay? So that means, I'll show you here what I got, this. Show me the image of him leaving. That's, this is what I got. Now, this is really what it says. It's very clear. It's saying that justice is going to take him down. Okay. It's not saying, I feel like I wish that he was leaving in a way. Okay. It could be that. Yeah. Okay. Hold on here. And this is like, he, there's an anchor. Behind, so it's like he leaves for good. Okay. Now. I feel like every, because the thing about him leaving is that everybody has said that in his life, whenever he feels like he can't win something, he leaves. Okay. So that's why they're saying they're going to leave. He's going to leave now. Um, yeah, I feel like, okay, one second, let me try to. Put this. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I'm not going to repeat. I feel like I've already said what I wanted to say. You, you saw this, all of this, right? So it's the tree of people that are loyal to him and the government, corruption related to them. The guilt, guilt, guilty snake. Okay, so guilt that is hidden in the government. The snakey, the snake that is corrupt. And has a tree of supporters. So I just feel like this doesn't tell me. So basically it's saying that justice is going to take him down. And if anything, I would say, I would take this to mean that Mueller is going to take him down because Mueller is justice here. Okay. It's not necessarily the impeachment process of all of them. Now, let me get, I, I wanted to, like I, I, in the beginning, I said, let me find two cards for each process. Okay. Let's see if we get more information for the five options. So let's see here what they say. So if there's any more information. So this is a card of him leaving, okay? I don't, okay, I didn't, I didn't even pull out, let me just get one tower, okay, death, okay, averting death, uh, I don't think, this is the first option, what happened, like, could he be leaving, I don't, I think he's saying he's having a hard time problems, trying to avert death, could it be removal by Mueller, I think this could be maybe, because this is saying news about Russia, Okay, so maybe let's see the card here. Yeah, a new beginning and news about Russia. I feel like you know it's inconclusive in some ways. Okay, so there's new, it could also be that these are like small vignettes. Okay, a letter about money could be an indictment or something like that. Delay. This was the part about impeachment. So, okay, so letter from bosses, there's a del delay. So I don't think, I don't think this would be the option. Now death, it shows as death. So the part where it asked if it could be death here, death of an opportunity, if it could be death and that related to the past. I don't know. Yes, exactly. Oh, interesting. Uh, Christy said, I think of Mueller when you get the justice card. Yeah, I feel like, and then the last one is, is going to serve, oh no, yeah, it's interesting. I asked if it's going to serve until the end of the term, and he, this is a card of painful endings, so no. 
I don't think you will. This is a child in pain. So painful for the child and painful ending. So what I think here is that he's definitely not going to, it's not going to be like, he's not going to be until the end of the term. I don't think it's going to be impeachment. Okay. Because there's a delay, whatever. Now the option of him leaving, I feel like averting, he could maybe leave. It's like averting death, looking at long-term issues. Okay. Um, and if we, if I look at what I think is more plausible, is that either I think there's going to be news about Russia that will indicate a new beginning, okay? And also, I feel like his past is going to kill him. In a way, this is a card of the past also. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, it's funny. It's not really super conclusive. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's he's not the type of person who's going to lay low, okay? He can't fake his death. So, yeah, I just, I, you know what a feeling I get is that everything is going to come out, okay? Um, and there's going to be full news about everything, and we're going to have to start over. And uh, I just feel like justice, I mean, who knows, like... The, the message was justice is going to remove him. Okay, there's going to be a negative judgment against him, against him and that's his end. Okay, now, um, yes, yes, I feel like it's a painful ending for him. Okay, the dad, like all of, like the child gets a painful ending and it's just pain and pain twice. Okay, he tries to avoid that, like pain, but he can't. Um, and then, Okay, that's going to, I mean, yeah, so that's what I think, guys. I think justice is going, I don't think he's going to escape justice, basically. Whether he leaves, this is if, if that's any comfort, okay. Whether he leaves, yes. Yeah, 2000. So whether or not he, he can't escape the, the law, that's what I'm getting ultimately, okay. So the law is really what is going to undo him. The more those things become public, okay, the more information comes out, everything's going to come out, and that's going to be his slow ending. That's a painful ending, I think, here. I don't know. I don't see a card of him leaving, per se. It could be. But I don't think that even if he leaves, like, that's not, that's not going to, um, to absorb okay, to absolve him, okay, so I just feel like the whole, I feel like I'm back at the point where I still believe somehow that he, and like everything is going to come out about all the parties together, okay, and that's how I feel like Mueller is figuring out the messaging, like how he's going to communicate to the country what they have found out, okay, that's the question. So once they figure out, and I think they're going to do it very quickly at once, they're going to have a plan of how to take it, like how to substitute the group. Then that's how he leaves. He's not going to fight it. I think essentially that's what it is. It probably is like, it's not like he has an option really. Okay. So, okay. So I feel like I wish I had a more like, I don't know, I'm kind of like this, like a more direct question. I mean, if I like it answers that it's basically all up to justice, okay? And justice will find, I feel like, you know, the image I get is like, you know, in cartoons when there's like the huge like ball, like rock coming towards your direction and you can't like, you're like, ah, oh, like it's getting closer and closer and you can't like, you can't accept that in cartoons you always escape, but not him. Okay, at some point he's going to be crushed. Okay, yeah. Yes, uh, Diane, I wonder if the 2000, yes, will be happy. Yes, exactly. I wanted to know that question too. So I have a feeling that, and I remember now Tracy Brown said that too, that I feel like by the summer before, because you know what I feel like? I feel like the situation 
is going to be res like at least the exposure of the people involved with Trump is going to happen by the summer because that's they know that the elections are going to happen in the fall, right? This is 2018, I believe. So I think they have to do it because the problem is exactly. But I feel like in order, Diane is saying, but our machines need to be switched to paper ballots. Yes, but I feel like, in, like I say, in order for the election to even happen in a way that feels fair, he, he's, he needs to be out of the government. Because clearly, this government does not care about hacked anything. They do not care. Okay, I feel like they actually, if anything, they are like, come, hey, hey because they, like uh, someone asked us before, and I said, look, it, from Trump's perspective, he likes it. He's like, great, it worked for me. Like, he only sees himself. So he's like, wait, it worked for me, so why not? There's nothing wrong with it, right? Like to him, it's like whatever. Like it's it, fair game. I won. Anything that, that I do, anything that makes me win is a good thing. Okay, so so that's what I think. I think ultimately this is gonna have to happen. His removal or the truth or whatever is gonna happen first is gonna happen by by this summer. Okay, if anything, or if not, then the the fall. I mean, the after the other elections. Okay, so all right. So I'm asked about the California weather. Well, let's let's see about let's talk about the no, maybe another time, but let's look into the 2018 and 220 elections. Will will Russia continue to interfere in the America elections in 2018 and 2020, or will we be able to stop them? Okay, so. Yeah, it may, uh, Diane is saying it may not just be Russia. Yeah, or like, let's just say, well, yes, that's right. I said, because I had said in the past that it, it, it's also be, it's also that the Republicans had also hacked machines themselves, not just the Russians. It's true. So, okay, so let's see, let's see here. Will the, will we have fair elections? We will be able to have fair elections without the interference of either hacking or illegal shenanigans with machines in 2018 into 20. Okay, so will we be able to have fair elections, meaning not without illegal, yeah, is even a fair election possible in, 220, in uh, 218 and 220, right? Because it feels that what we have uncovered is a, a pattern of illegal schemes that contributed to Trump winning this election on several levels, okay? So so the question here is, will we have fair elections in 2018 and 220 in the sense of, of clean, basically clean, true elections in 2018 and 220? We'll be able to stop the electoral corruption somehow we have fair elections what's going to happen we have to have fair elections by
Okay, sorry, I'm like my own world here. So, yeah, you know, I feel like it's still saying the thing about, like, at the center, we have foreign power and lovers. So the connection with foreign power and opportunities behind the scenes. But it, and I'll tell you, it's interesting. It ends for in our with death, but it's, uh, I'll just show you, okay? It, I just have to explain the cards, um, and, and then we can find a, a story. But basically, I think yes, but it means the whole thing is going to be uncovered before the elections, okay? That's what it, it's kind of, in a way, repeating what the other one said. Because this this column here essentially says that, like, the lovers is sort of like a soulmate connection. So the soulmate connection with the with the foreign power created an opportunity behind the scenes. Okay. And this is, I feel like this card always means Republicans or like the people who are kind of like upset are gonna have a lot hard time. And the energy is going to be kind of deflated, and they're probably going to leave. This is somebody leaving. You're going to have to leave. And here, disappointment. Once we're looking to something. And this is wrong works or lack of focus in the leadership of people in the leadership position. And then guys, so this is interesting. This is a card of peace of mind came back again. And then the psych. Peace of mind comes with when something or someone is cut. And this is plan, plans don't quite go, don't quite work, or plans to turn everything upside down in society. I don't think society is cut, but I think this means cut in public, something cut in public. The public sees this being removed, okay? And then the White House dies, basically. This is again the went, 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 the White House and then death below the White House. It's like averting death and then death, death and death, die, 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 die. So, so I think, okay, this is okay, let's see guys here, putting the whole story together. Okay, so first we have a hard time like those people who are unhappy, like they're they're having a hard time moving. Like they had to move away, okay, because there's like difficulties for them. And I think the public now has clarity about what the bosses were were doing, okay, what the leadership was doing. And and so this is like putting it's funny because it's it's I, I'm liking this because it's putting this story together, okay. So so once. Okay, once the once there's clarity about you know the the dif like difficulties and uh, clarity about what the bosses were saying were, were doing with regards to the opportunity provided by the foreign power, which is here. Okay. Or right here, right? So it's like the opportunity. Okay, it's funny. I hate when this does. Okay, anyway. So, and then there's a public cut, public removal. Society sees it. Okay. And then the house dies. Okay, the White House dies. Now, even though we have to go back to the question, and the question really is, are we going to have fair elections in 2018? Okay, so let me go back to the center here. So this is the 
the foreign power, opportunity for the foreign power, okay. And then these two here, opportunity for the foreign power, there's a public cut in the White House. Okay, so what I feel this says is that elections are going to have, this is what's gonna happen until the elections, okay? I feel like it's kind of confirmed what we're talking about before, which basically, it's saying that yes, but not until this happens. Okay, so not an, until the, he, Trump is removed, we're not gonna have like really fair elections because the foreign power is highly aware okay, of all of this, of, of the opportunity they have, okay? So you see here, like, this is the, to, the, the middle to the end. So we have foreign power, foreign cut, cut in the, in the house. So the house is cut and the cut is public. Opportunity becomes public and then there's a death. So a death in the White House. So, okay, so, so basically, We'll put these together here if we look at it, okay? All of these. Oh, I hate this light. Okay. So if you guys can see it, I'm going to try to see if I can move away my hand. So you see, it's like things are, oh, this is like annoying. So yeah, basically those things, like people this, people saw, what, what it, once people see what's happened and they are removed, then we have these elect better elections, okay? So you see like, difficulties moving away like for probably for the the evil people right because everything comes to light about what they did and the oppor opportunism related to the foreign power okay so then there's a cut in the public eye and the house the white house ends okay like meaning meaning um yeah, they're like they're removed. Okay, so I feel like what this is saying is that in order for this to happen, yes, in order for this to happen, they have to be removed. And I feel like I am getting the full. I feel like now I'm like getting this full story. It's like they saw everybody. It's like I feel like I have, we have like a flashback, and they're saying yes, the you know the Republicans or whatever. They saw an opportunity. They were like, you know, let's do it. It was is going to be hard otherwise. So there's an opportunity from the foreign government. So let's do it. And so all of this becomes public, and then everything is removed once it becomes public. So they are removed, and the White House government right now dies. Okay. So that's the answer to the question. It's not saying it's interesting because I feel like today's was very like all the readings are kind of saying something similar. Justice is going to remove all of this like but not, there's no other way, okay? That's what it, essentially, that's what I get. It's not like suddenly people are going to be able to like, no, no. Now, Pat Joe was asking, has Putin tried to approach Mueller? No. I don't think that A, like, I don't think that could even, you know, could even, that's not, I mean, that's like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not even going to ask because it's like, it's like Putin is not that, that he's not that powerful, honestly. Like, I think it's like an insult to, to Mueller to say that, like, he, you know what I mean? Because it's like he's not trustworthy in any way. One thing that I read actually about this is that the thing, there's some news about Julian Assange, and they're saying that there's already an indictment waiting for him. Okay. So if he leaves the embassy, the whatever, Ecuador embassy. Um, so. So you know, you know what I'm saying? Because Putin is is basically he's assisted he assisted Mueller, like not Mueller, Trump. You know what I mean? So he he assisted the hacking of of uh, America in a way or another. Okay, so it's not like he's gonna be like, oh yeah, here's here's what we did. Like okay, like he's not. You know what I mean? He's not that dumb. Like he like okay. And so I feel like if whatever he wants to give Mueller, he there's other ways to do it. There's other ways to leak stuff. But Mueller is not gonna buy that he's like a nice guy who wants to help out. Nobody will. Okay, you know everybody knows that he's a he's a fox. Like like you know he's really like shady guy. Okay, so so that's the story, guys. I feel like it seems very clear. I feel like the whole 
Yes, but I think there's some, uh, uh, more is saying Ecuador gives us some incident. But there's an issue with him leaving. For some reason, the actual building, even if he's an Ecuadorian citizen, he can't just, he can't just like leave and like not be arrested. I, I don't know exactly the story, but basically that's that. So, so that's the issue with, with, with how Trump is going to be removed and election, fairness of elections. It's all about him. I feel like something's going to come out about the White House. And once this whole thing is removed, then we have fair elections, but not until then. Okay. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if, okay, let me uh, go back to the questions here. Um, I don't know that we will be able to. Like until he basically that's 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 it. Like until they are removed, because they see the the opportunity card was right there, with the ship. So they see their great opera like never in their lifetime. Oh my God, that's so nice. Did you say your readings are more insightful than the book? Fire. That's very nice. Yeah. No, but I, I don't know. It's just interesting because I feel like I always want a very clear answer, and that we're not getting answers like that. But I think they are. They are. The answers are very clear in a different way. It's just that. The message is kind of very consistent now. It's like justice has to make it happen. It's not going to be like, yes, Jackie saying Trump actually thought he could sell the country to the Russians. Yes. Uh, does Putin know how much Mueller has in Trump and the rest of them? I don't. I don't know. I mean, honestly, guys, I don't care like how about what Putin thinks or he knows or he wants. Like, it's not the the like right. Like, I don't think it's relevant. But the point is like. I think, you know what, he's afraid of. Yeah, very, very smart. Yeah, I think he's afraid. And it's, you know what, you know what, like some people were saying, and I agree, what killed him was the Magnitsky, Magnitsky, I think it's called, act, which is the, the only thing that worked against them was, was the act that prevented them from spending money in Western, in Western countries, okay? Because that's what they used to do. They used to steal money and come here and spend and then leave. So that's the thing that really killed Putin. Not anything related to wars or like serious. It's just like he can't get his money. Okay, that's what pisses him off. And he, what what real? Yeah, exactly. So what he's realizing is that that was a mistake. Like to have this ability to blackmail Trump, like for a little bit or whatever. It's all. It's just not working. It, it backfired. Okay. Still in the show that if I was still early on, busy. Yeah, exactly. Why? Well, I feel like there was just, like I said, so basically I think, guys, really, the whole thing was that there was a lot of, as we're seeing, I think, about the media, like, it's pretty clear that they were they worked against, like, Hillary, okay, in a way or another. Like, the whole thing of, like, those ridiculous emails and the, whole, the idea that they, they never really pushed, they never went that far with Trump. I think people maybe didn't think he could win. I don't know what, but they, they were, like, very critical of her. And they were not critical. They were like, oh, look, it's a clown. People like to see him on television. Like, they were not very, um, you know. So I just feel like it was just a combination of things. We weren't prepared. I think, you know, like Hillary said, like, the vast right-wing conspiracy is true. Like, they were so connected. They were so strong. It was just one of those moments, you know what I mean? Like, that, that happened. And... Um, yeah. So anyway, so, okay. So, so my God, it's crazy. So yeah, so that's what I feel like. That's what it's saying. Okay, guys. So, okay. So let's like have more questions. Now there's an, I feel like we, the other question is whether this government, we were afraid it wouldn't prove it. Yeah. I feel like, okay, there's a question. Let me ask quickly here, this question about affirmative action, like in the sense that, you know how like, we have Sessions. Sessions is really trying to like put in place all these policies. Okay, so let's see if he's going to succeed and really, because that's their ultimate goal. Okay, they're the, this racist administration. They have Nazi ideas and that's it. Like that's, you know, if they had no, if they had no pushback, that's, they would do that. Like they would like get Eric Prince to build his like private prisons and they would put like everybody who's like not a white guy or whatever. Um, in these prisons. Okay, so whatever. So that's what I think. So so let's see if it will 
will this government, you know, the, the basically the right wing cabal of like shadiness of like Jeff Sessions and all of his like cronies, will they succeed in in like basically ending affirmative action and basically a social justice program? Like basically, will they succeed in creating their dream like uh, bigotopia, bigotopia, bigotopia state that they want? Okay. That's why I think they will, they will be able to like turn the U.S. into a full-fledged bigot country, bigotopia that they they are they are trying to create. Will they succeed in in basically erasing civil rights and women's rights and gay rights and all of that? That's I think that's that's really their goal. Will they be able to 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 basically turn the clock back? Okay. Okay. Will they be able? That's what they want. Like I feel like that's. Let's just say affirmative. Like, right? It's like. Yeah. So let's see. Will Jeff Sessions be like? Will this government be able to create a true bigotopia? Right. In the sense that they will be able to overthrow, like civil rights. And remove people's right. That's what they really want. They're that's what they're trying. They are racist from the bottom to the top. So, will they be able to put in place that bigotopia? Okay, yeah, bigotopia, right? So that's that's what it is. Oh my God, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great name. I want to trade my yeah, right? Bigotopia, isn't that true? It's a bigotopia. Oh my God, this is perfect, right, guys? Like the Trump government is bigotopia. He's like a big yeah, bigotopia, <laughs> bigotopia. Bigotopia, yeah. <laughs> create, okay. They create. Will they be able to like create? Will they be able to really achieve what they want? Just to create this like bigot state. Be able to, yeah. It's like. I don't, I mean, this is like the first, so the center is like theft, upside down, and Russia. <laughs> I feel like in the middle of the night, right, suddenly they're guilty, the guilt comes out. And then somebody leaving, okay. So I feel like this could mean, usually means quite positive, like, um moving in the sense of like moving just better waters but this is a tree again showing so i feel like there are people like once the guilt comes out those people got they have to leave in the middle of the night okay because of course here the the russia thing and then there's conversations meetings but i feel like intercepted conversations okay about the abuse of power of the older man. So, so yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like guys like, I don't believe it, honestly. I don't think that they will. Just because you have here the guilt, okay? And, And the theft, like it's the theft with the, with the with Russia, or whatever. Like I think all of it is gonna come out. I could, and I'm trying to think here. Okay, am I am I interpreting it wrong? 
Am I seeing what I only what I want to see? Am I really um, not seeing the full picture? Because I'm like, okay, does it mean that he wins in the end or, or that he loses? They lose. I just feel like, again, it, and I'm like, am I being, I just, I'm not seeing, I feel like if he were able to really overturn, okay, the clock, then I think would see a lot of more cards of the, like public or many people being like sad and like, I don't see that at all. So I just feel like that means that no, they're not. I feel like the first card is guilt, so okay. It could also be like me, like sudden in the middle of the night, there's like stress, but I don't think that's it. It's not like, you know, um, okay. So you see guys here, I don't know if you can see it. Like it starts with a cross. Okay. Here. I don't know why, maybe it's flipped, but it's like guilt of the tree, guilt of all the entire group, in the middle of the night, guilt of the entire group. The people in this group, like the tree, is forced to leave, and they the tree is related to Russia. Okay, so then there's these conversations and meetings. The conversations are, are basically, I think, are caught about the older man talking about his like outdated racist beliefs and his abuse of power. Okay, that's what I get. Um, so. So, so, well, so Cynthia asked on the here, will the, what happens to supporters? I don't, I mean, I feel like. I hear is like fall, things falling apart related to the foreign power um, and money related to him, and then being asserted issues related to the election. I just, I think I have a, I don't know, I feel like there is. I don't think so. I really, I don't think that they will be able to do that because the guilt is, I feel like uh, maybe, and I'm trying to think guys, honestly, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I am projecting. Am I projecting? I don't know. I don't think so. I just feel that the whole Russia thing is going to undo their plans. Okay. Just because too much is going to come out and it's going to destabilize their government to the point where it's going to become clear, okay. Um, okay, so, so um, you know, one question that, yeah, one, one question that Cynthia Brower brought up here, and I think I'm gonna ask quickly, which is the question that many people have asked and I have never really addressed, is how their base, how Trump's base will take it if Mueller removes him. Okay, yeah. How will Trump ba Trump's base take it if Mueller removes him? Will they change their mind? Like, well, how will how will Trump's base react? Okay, because it's like, because I'm always like, I don't really care about them because they're like whatever, like they have to deal with it. But how will Trump's base react when they find out the truth? If they can find out the truth, okay. And will they accept his removal? What will be, okay. What will Trump, how will Trump's base react when and if Trump is removed from office? Because I think honestly, guys, I, I believe, and I'm, I obviously I'm not a, I feel like it's like, 
10, 15% of the population, the rest is bots. I feel like the whole people, all these people in, online are just like fake, okay? They don't even exist. They're like troll farms in Russia. They're like posting these comments. They're pro him. I think there's a very small population of people who really, okay, care. I believe that's me. I don't know. I think it's, we are, I think it's 15%. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Macedonia, exactly. So, all right. So, well, how will Trump's base react if he's removed from office somehow? So he has to leave. Because, you know, um, okay, let me just get the cards and then talk about it. So, because basically, um, I just did the Lenormans, guys, so. I feel like here, they're gonna be, a, there's gonna be pain. They're gonna be in pain. But I don't see any like aggressive and stuff. I don't see, okay. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so this was like actually, I just did a quick uh, with little Normans and I'll show you. So I'll put all the cards together. Let's see if like, like how, how it works like this. So, so this is the center. This is the left here. And public. Okay, so um, the snake, we, we know what the snakes means, right? So it's like a duality, like a person who can't be trusted. And then here we have basically corrupt snakes suffer corrupt snakes suffer that's the situation right now okay and then at the, like on top we have the child of russia becomes public or in the public eye and at the bottom we have the group of people i think that are connected to the man and support like his supporters like I, interesting i feel like there's two figures of man here like the older man they hit like the older man and the, the one man here so long it could be long-term supporters okay so i feel like what it's saying this is kind of this is the, i have to say it because it's just my impression and like i said before I have to go out and say it. I feel like in a way, his supporters, a lot of them are like children of Russia, right? In a way, so they've been indoctrinated by Russia in a way. Okay, so so it becomes public, either it becomes public how they were indoctrinated. That's what I think. I think the child here, it's like he's a new person, new person who's snaky. Okay, if we look at the center column, the present. So the new sneaky person is a, like he's basically, I feel like, okay, this is the child card is a maturity. It's also a new opportunity. So a new opportunity for snakes through a man. So he's like almost like a, a, like a toy or like a stand in for something. So he's an opportunity for shadiness. Okay. For these dark forces. Okay. And then we have people in the public eye. Okay. Um, having. So then people in the public eye. Like in pain. Okay. And then corruption, the group of people related, like, I feel like what I get here, okay, is that 
there's a coordinated, his base is coordinated in a way. But I don't think, I think there's pain. I think there's some, some level of pain, but I don't see. I think everything becomes public and it's painful for the corrupt people. Like they suffer. Okay. I feel like there's going to be, I guess, I'm not sure reckoning. I'm not sure if reckoning is the right word, but what I feel like is that there is, or there will be like a public, yes. You know, what I mean? like, I know, I know you guys, some of you follow astrologers. I know there's one astrologer. I think his name is Sam Gepi. Um, and I remember he said something that I've been, I thought about uh, for a long time, which is that he said that the configuration after Trump leaves is, um, what is it called? The reign of terror, which is the, when the French revolution happened after they removed the Kings, anybody who was re, like associated with the Kings was prosecuted, like heavily prosecuted. Okay. So, so that's kind of like, I think what ends up happening. So, you know what I mean? So that's what I feel like. The, because here is pain and fighting, okay? I don't believe, yes, justice, right? So exactly, John say Nuremberg trial, sort of like that, okay? Because I feel like I don't have, I mean, I don't have a, I'm trying to, I don't know a lot of, like, I, I'm not an expert on, I haven't, A, I haven't brought the, the tarot cards necessarily because I wanted to have more of like a broader, like, I don't know, like it is like a reading that's more like cleaner or something. I, I'm not seeing like, for example, the, the coffin card or the scythe or other cards that could indicate or like the fox, stuff like that, that could indicate maybe darker people organized or something. I feel like the family becomes public. Okay. People understand Okay, that there's like pe the people, you know what I'm thinking? Okay, this is what I, it's clear, crystallizing in my mind. The people who are his supporters, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, exactly. Okay, so Donna is asking what, so, so, okay, let me um, close my eyes at what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that all these people on Twitter and on television who support him are outed as being children of the Russian thing. Okay, so you can see the card of the child and the Russia thing. It becomes public. So once that becomes public, once the population at large understands that that was a kind of like, I'm going to say conspiracy, I'm not sure what the word is, but basically once it becomes known that these people are, were paid to, to think those things, then I think things change in some way. Okay. Okay. So, so that's what I think it, it's showing. Now, let me ask, since it's, since, okay, I, that's what I feel guys. Okay. I feel like. Okay, so in terms, okay, like since we, oh, okay. In terms of his base, okay, what about Fox? What about Fox? Let me ask, you know what? I think this is an important question. Okay. I think this is, there's momentum for the Fox question. Do you mind if I ask now the, the question about Fox? Because I want to have more in-depth reading on, on Fox. I think it's timely to do it now, okay? Because I feel like since we saw his base, and what I feel like it's pain, a lot of pain, okay, for them. And I feel like it becomes clear that a lot of these people are implanted, okay. So, all right. So, so that's that. Okay, now. Okay, so, so that's it. Now see Fox News. Um. So do you guys, well, how should I ask the question about, Fox? Should, should I ask, uh, what will be the future of my, Fox News? What would happen to Fox News? Fox Empire. Well, the Fox Empire is big, actually, guys, because, you know, they, they own, it's like they're going to, Let's just fo focus on Fox News because they own like a Hollywood studio. They 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 have different businesses. Okay, so what will happen to Fox News once the Mueller investigation ends, or like as a consequence of the Mueller invest, like 
if Trump is found to be guilty and everything is exposed, what will happen to Fox News? Okay, so I, I don't know if I should ask it like that. Yeah, you know, so let's let's look. At, Donna is asking what was Fox News role and what happens to them. So let's let's do it like this. I'm gonna do a, a kind of like a time not timeline, but sort of like like from left to right panning view so that we see what happened in the past and we see what happens in the future. Okay. That is, okay. So, all right. So yeah, so that's, I think I'm going to do it like uh, the way Donna phrased it. What was Fox news role in Trump's election and what happens to them? Okay. Because that answers, I feel like that gives is going to give us a lot to look at. Okay. What, what happens to them? Mm, like, Okay, should we, for not to say for the next year, so let, what happens to them in the next, for the next couple of years? Okay, let's look at it that way, because it's difficult. I think it's difficult to, if we don't give a timeline, then it just becomes kind of like flimsy. So what, ha like what's Fox's connection to Trump and Trump's election, and what happens to them over the next two years? Okay, Fox News and uh fox news and if the gentleman card comes that's rob robert murdoch okay so let's make the gentleman robert murdoch and the lily trump and what happens to the fox news network what was what was their role in trump election and what happens to them in the next couple of years So what happens to, what was the role of Fox News in the Trump election and what happens with them in the next couple of years? So what was their role in the Trump election and what happens to them over the next couple of years, okay? Yeah, so it's saying that, yeah, there's going to be, that they, okay. Okay. So here it's saying that there's money and hard, meaning the values, okay. It's like the values of the, it's very, very clear. They are the values of the White House, happy family at the White House. So they're part of the White House family. Okay, they, they reflect the heart of the White House. Very true. Here, heart of the White House. And then it's just interesting. They are, they are the angry, angry network. This is also, could also be network. Actually, I forget about this, but it's beats TV or network. Angry People's Network. This is a person who can't sleep. 
and Trump. So Trump can't sleep and he, he watches Fox News, makes him more angry. He watches the Angry People's Network. Manipulation, like uh, this is a card of, uh, what is it called? Oh my God, the con artist. And they're happy. It's so interesting. The, looking at, it's like, this is a card of guilt. So it's like they're, it's the light behind his guilt or something. It's interesting. I, I don't know exactly what it means yet. Okay. So because there's sun twice, so there's looking into his guilt. I almost feel like it's like the, it's like the, they are manip the manipulation and the sunny, like, it's almost like they create the light behind the guilt. It's almost like they create a, f a false reality beyond his guilt. Okay. And then the apathy moving on something better like the opportunity entanglement and opportunity so they see an opportunity for themselves with trump to get to a better place okay they see like the the winning of trump as an opportunity to get to a better place and and they become the white house's values okay now that's interesting because there's this is now going this is the future so there's restlessness and a lot of money okay it's like it's gonna show i'll show you guys so essentially and this is like this harmony about the election so i feel like what this is showing us is that is that this harmony they created about the election related to some sort of deal they have that gave them a lot of money. So the deal about money about the election, creating this harmony on many levels. So this there's tempers upside down and there's lovers upside down. So they are the network of disharmony. Okay, network of disharmony. And suddenly, or like there's a burst of energy and then it, something dies, okay? Some death because of a secret, this is interesting. Like a secret here, it's in a strong position because of a secret. So basically I feel like death, it could be death of a, of a secret or death because of a secret, I think. Judgment against them because they, they probably were bribed in some way, okay, this is money. and a letter, their illusions, okay? Communications related to illusions. So what I think it's saying, I don't know if, we have the negative judgment here, okay? So there's a legal outcome, negative legal outcome for them, okay? Something about them, this is like a secret, Death because a secret. The secret leads to a letter. This is the future, okay? This is part of Fox News. So we have money related to the election. That money is secret, okay? And that leads to an indictment. This is at the bottom, like a letter. The money leads to an end, comes to an ending, because I think they found the connection like that either they were bribed or they they paid someone or something like that there's some sort of corruption related to fox news related to communication okay so it could be that they find emails because you know how so supposedly sean hannity gets info from russia okay like he, he because he, he talks their talking points so maybe something like that we should do sean hannity actually at some point but that's the story here. That's what happens. I think definitely like you have the judgment of return. I feel like, you know what? I see them like 
getting some kind of rule of like some legal consequence of their support of Trump. There's shady stuff behind the scenes. It's not just that he got, it's not just that he was supported by them. It's that there's a deal. There's something related to a lot of money. Okay. Either he supports Trump by giving him money or that they were bribed by someone. Okay. So, so that's the story. That's the thing about, and I feel like it's just the legal consequences. Okay. But this was just about Fox News and their, their future. It's not talking about their influence. I just feel like, yeah, that's it, guys. So that's the thing about Fox News. Okay. So it's been a hundred minutes. So maybe um, I think I'll end here today. Okay. Um, with Fox News. And, uh, well, hello, Joseph. That's nice. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm, very nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I feel like today was not, a, I don't think today was the greatest day. Maybe it was like saying many things over and over again. But yeah, it's like not super conclusive. I just feel like there's, there's going to be things trickling down for them. Okay. In terms of the, like, more stuff is going to come out about, about them. Okay. So, all right. So, so I'm going to go, I'll be back on Sunday. Okay. Sunday, um, probably I, I'm going to write, like, I think it's six, six and three and six or six and something. So I'll, I'll figure out the time. All right. So, so, all right, guys, have a, have a good night. Okay. Bye. Uh, okay.